and we are live. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let me Hello. see if that shows up. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Let me see if it shows up. Are there live audience? Hello. See any comments? Anybody want to write? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll start. Uh, All right. Welcome, everyone. This is Joyce, um, one of the producers for Agent One or Agent Intelligence. Um, and we're launching Agent Revelation, the part two, coming up next week. Uh, we want to get the original cast together um, and have a chat and kind of go back in time and see how everyone's experience was. Um, so we have a uh, cast. Uh oh. Someone. No. Joyce. No. We lost Joyce. Wow, we lost Joyce. Right. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's just like Agent Hello, all over everyone. again. I'm back. back. <laughs> we lost I just dropped down myself. <laughs> uh, get straight to it. Hi, Joyce. Around the room <laughs> and uh, kind of introduce yourself and tell us your role in, in the movie and uh and uh you know how was the experience playing that role and then when derek comes back um then we can play the um trailer to agent intelligence perfect yeah, well, why, don't, why don't we start with eric heidel right up top yes very good all right well uh, well I, I could talk for a long time how long do you want me to talk a couple minutes all right yeah. Uh, well, I'm uh, Eric Keitel. Uh, I played Seth in the movie. Um, this was a lot of fun for me. We were basically out in the desert for uh, uh, pretty much three weeks straight. Um, and uh, it was my first experience really getting to do a lot of stunts and working. You know, we had uh, we had stunt doubles, but obviously you want to do um, as much um, as much with yourself as you can. So uh, Derek and I were. Uh, Spending a lot of time uh, practicing, uh, you know, all our hand-to-hand -hand, uh, scenes and things like that. Um, for the the role itself, like just getting into character, the main thing for me was, um, you know, on the page, Seth is. Well, I mean, he's a jerk. Let's let's be real. <laughs> like he's a he's a very uh, kind of selfish guy, um, and I think reads even more so on the page. So for me, it was well. Okay, this guy, yeah, he's he's very selfish, um, but at the same time, you know, he's for some reason Jim, you know, thinks he's great. He's his best friend, um, and Angela, um, you know, w wants to marry him. Um, so there has to be, you know, there's some redeeming qualities there. So for me, it was kind of like finding the the humanity in there uh, between the words. Um, you know, obviously we all have blind blind spots to our behavior. Um, cause you can't see it from the outside. I think Seth's blind spots are, are huge. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're all the, we're all the hero of our own story. And, um, so I think, yeah, Seth just, he's, he's a selfish guy, but he doesn't, he doesn't really, doesn't really know quite how selfish he is. Um, has a hard time seeing things from other people's perspective. Um, so yeah, that was, that was kind of the main, the main challenge for me in, in dropping into the role is it's, you know, why does everybody like him so much? <laughs> um, and so it was just a process, of kind of, kind of finding, finding that, like what's what's likable about Seth and 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 what's not. So I'll stop talking. Awesome. Mike is here. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Mike is joined. <laughs> Hello. 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 So we're just going around the table, just uh, kind of you know introducing everyone to your character and how uh, you play the role or how you prepare for the role. Um, so everyone, just a couple of minutes, and then we'll have we'll pause, and uh, Derek will come back on, and then we'll look at the trailer, and then see if there's any audience question, and then go to the next question. So cool, thank you, thank you, Eric Keitel. So next, Terrence, you wanna tell us your experience? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Terrence. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> Do you want to tell us your, uh, I don't see myself yet. <laughs> we, we, we see you. Hi, hello. Uh, so I'm uh, Taryn Jones. Yes, and uh, I played the role of I played the role of John, uh, the gun instructor. And probably the biggest challenge I had uh, as a character is I had to be a, uh, a professional, uh, you know, in, of this field. Um, I had very little gun experience or weapons experience, and so I pretty much just had to learn on set from uh, from James Cito, uh, I guess the character who I'm I'm supposed to be playing. And uh, you know, it was one thing to kind of get a crash course on everything. But then I also had to kind of embody being uh, a professional, you know, um, when these guys were kind of experimenting with the guns and everything, you know, they're brand new so they can look like they don't know what they're doing. But I had to act like I knew what I was doing. So that was really my challenge. I had to know how to hold it, the, the weapons. I had to know how to uh, like, you know, like walk with the gun, um, be able to uh, explain the different uh, uh, the different parts. So that was pretty much my biggest challenge. Um, and then of course, um, once I was taken over by the red dust and I think all of us were at some point, I think my biggest challenge was trying to figure out what um, emotions the, the, I guess the alien influence, what emotions they had access to. So that was pretty much like my biggest challenge to figure out, um, you know, I guess the, the the different parts of of myself, and then being taken over by the red dust. So, anyways, that was just one of my biggest challenges. But um, uh, I loved every second of it. I love this cast, and uh, that's it for me. Awesome, thank you. Uh, let's hear from <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Amazing. It's so fun and awesome to be here. I'm so yeah. Anyways, hi, I'm Olivia. I played Kara, uh, who was the uh, best friend. Um, she, her occupation um, was a kind of like an influencer on YouTube. And so she vlogged. And so throughout the movie, um, I was like recording videos, you know, uh, which was a part of the script. Uh, uh, and and um, I remember, the reason why I bring that up is I remember before um, we started filming, we had, uh, we met up, I think the four of us, Marika, Eric, and I, and Derek, um, we we gathered and we rehearsed and, and that was awesome, just going over the script, talking about the characters. And I remember Derek uh, saying to me specifically, he's like, I want you to record yourself and like upload those videos to YouTube to get into like the, the mind of Kara. Cause Kara, um, if anyone knows me, uh, I feel like Kara's like Olivia on steroids. Like she's so bubbly and just kind of over the top. And I'm bubbly and sometimes over the top, but she's like to the next level and like is very brave. Um, and so that was really interesting, just like recording myself and uploading these videos to YouTube, which I actually did, but I think they're on private. It's just me talking to the camera. So I don't think anyone could like research them and, and see them. <laughs> It'd be so embarrassing. Anywho, um, it was uh, such a fun experience in that I, I think all of us <laughs> in the past really connected well, or I don't know if that's the right uh, how you say it, but we just really jived together as far as just our relationships as as actors, um, and I think uh, getting to know Marika and just. Uh, cause you know, we were out in the desert for three weeks, like with nothing else to do. Like we had so much fun together and became such good friends. And I think that really informed, uh, our relationship on screen, because if you've seen the film, I mean, I'm about to give spoilers if you haven't seen the film, but there's a scene at the end where I die. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. and so what? Like, I know. No, right? that is not, that's not the version of the film I saw, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I die and it's like a very emotional scene and um, I think we filmed that towards the end of like at least the end of my time of filming 
And, um, and so we had like, Marika and I had weeks of just getting to know each other and having, and just having fun around because we filmed out in Yucca Valley, which was by Joshua Tree. And we went and onto Joshua Tree and like just walked around and went on hikes and whatnot. And so uh, because Kara and Angela are such good friends, I really think that informed my role and how I prepared, um, which was so awesome. So yeah, um, that, that's about it. <laughs> Awesome, thanks for sharing. Um, and next, let's hear from Carol. Hi, everyone. Um, so I'm Carol Weyers, and I played the role of Dr. Janssen, uh, who's a scientist who is um, studying, researching this red dust. We don't know too much about her in the first installment uh, of this, um, maybe trilogy, dun, 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 who knows, <laughs> um, but um, so uh, yeah, she's, she's kind of a mystery. And for me, the challenge doing this role was, well, first of all, learning my lines, because it was three pages of <laughs> monologue, basically. <laughs> and uh, it's a bookend role. So I was opening the movies and spoiler alert, <laughs> Olivia and I, um, and, and finishing the movie. So, um, so yeah, that's a big responsibility, opening a movie, um, especially when you're the one talking and talking and talking and talking. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it was kind of, you know, within this mystery character that she was, finding the human in there and see how I could spring the story forward as, uh, as best as I could. Cool. <laughs> <Did a great job. laughs> and uh, let's hear from Eric Mark. Hi, everybody. So yeah, I'm Eric Mark. I'm one of the producers on the film, as well as the uh, voice of the drone pilot. So I'm actually, the, so Carol may open the movie, but in fact, I'm the very first person you hear at the very, very, oh, end, damn. very oh, beginning God, of the film. <laughs> um, the so some of you might not recognize me from the film, and that's because um, I'm not in it other than my voice. <laughs> However, that I was uh, I was going to say it was because of the long hair because of COVID, but in fact, it's because, yeah, my face is actually not in the film at all. I was supposed to be, but then uh, we I had a family emergency, so unfortunately had to uh, drop out, but really got a lot of experience producing and uh, working with this fantastic team in many, many different domains. And I think that for me, it was just like an eye-opening experience about how much uh, in independent uh, productions the producers really do everything and you know the, the role isn't entirely defined uh but i was involved in everything from casting uh most of the people you see on the screen right now to um to actually being out and doing location scouting uh to to going out and picking up cars and so like when we we're when we we're shooting out in the desert uh we needed a bunch of suvs and i'm running over to uh, an unnamed uh, rental company because i don't want to get uh, you know cause any liability mm -hmm. issues uh and going and changing cars finding cars realizing the one we had wasn't the right one going back in the middle of the night to the uh, the rental place and swapping out and getting other cars and uh quite quite an interesting thing which we'll get to when we talk about some of the stories perhaps but also on top of that you know even driving people around so i had the the, the honor and privilege of driving olivia and marika to uh to phoenix from la when we were um uh, shooting the the oh, live yeah. ammo scenes and so that was a you know fantastic opportunity to get to hang out with uh, some of my favorite people and uh, and do so on a long-term trip and and uh, as marika will recall well Olivia won't recall many of the stories because she slept through most of it, but um, <laughs> but uh, Marika absolutely will. One, one of the highlights for us was that for the first time in our lives, I think, for both of us, we went to a gas station and found an automatic smoothie machine, which most of you probably think is one of, and Olivia, look at the surprise in her face, because she doesn't yeah. even know this happened. <laughs> this was possibly, this, this was in the, in, the, in the top 20, and I mean, I know that's not, that's not that generous, but one of the top 20 smoothies I've had in my life, it was made by this robot machine. In the desert, in a gas station. So nobody would expect that. What what Olivia does remember is that um, unlike Marika and I, and I had never been to a Cracker Barrel, she's a lover of the Cracker Barrel. We were already running late getting to Phoenix, and Olivia's, we got to stop. We got to stop at the Cracker Barrel. 
And uh, we did. We, we we didn't get to enjoy their wares, fortunately, but we certainly got to see uh, Olivia. In it, it, she talks about being over the top and her excited, excited and excitable personality in full bore. So that was an amazing moment. So thank you to you all. Uh, what a, what a wonderful producing experience and what a wonderful project to be a part of. <laughs> thank you. Certainly a lot of fun having you on set as well. <laughs> um, and let's hear from Marika. Hi everyone, my name is Marika. Um, I played Angela and it's so funny because we shot this so long ago and now hearing everyone say their little tidbits and stories, it's bringing back memories of my own from shooting. Um, gosh, it was it was mm -hmm. such a great um, as far as challenges go for <laughs> I think she was gonna mention that there was talented oh. connectivity and in, in technical technical mm -hmm. challenges. There she is. <laughs> back. I'm back. I'm back. Um well I was gonna say that as far as character and 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 history and how I prepared for the role and everything be <laughs> <laughs> Just when the nuggets are coming out. Oh, no. <laughs> Every time. Um, so That's yeah, you, <laughs> you that that was me. Oh no! Is that happening again? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for for people who have watched the movie, this this is what happens when you actually get in, in, breathe in the red dust. So this is like. Wait, is something going on with my camera? Is that yeah. what you're so cutting off? Yeah. Every time you're about to say something yeah. profound, you suddenly freeze. Are you serious? Yeah. So Wait, but think I now it's, it's working yeah. out, right? Yeah, yeah it's it's right something. <laughs> I'm infected, yes. I am. <laughs> um, okay, let me try that. We'll see if this works. Um, being in the element and in that environment was very helpful because it just made the whole situation that much more realistic and believable and easy to, to put yourself in as a character. Um, so that was. Oh, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> mm. Man. It's a, it's a great freeze frame. Though. <laughs> and folks, for those of you watching, you can fill in the blank. What was it? So just take <laughs> a um, I'll try again. Okay. So <laughs> Um, but on the flip side, what was a challenge of being in, the, in that environment was, <laughs> why are you laughing, Terrence? No, you're, you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The challenge was, um, the being the elements. You're good. You're good. Oh, man. Oh. This is... It was really awesome. cold, is what she's saying. It was really cold on set. Oh, it, was really cold. Okay. it was very, very cold. And so that was a challenge for sure, having to deal with the elements of the environment. Um, and we'd shoot in the middle of the night sometimes, and it was freezing cold. And we had to be just wearing a T-shirt and pants and act as though everything was normal. So I remember there was an EMT on set making sure everything was safe and um yeah, he broke out the the uh, emergency blankets uh, for you at one point. Oh wow! Holy yeah, they because I I have very poor circulation, so my fingers were starting to turn purple and blue. So I'd have a blanket around me, wrapped around me, in between takes, and then as soon as it was time to go, I'd have to take the blanket off and go and pretend as though everything was totally fine, and I was just uh, at a normal temperature. Um, but yes, yeah, before I go out again. Um, Overall, it was such a cool, fun experience, a killer, amazing cast. I was so relieved as well to get to work with Olivia. I remember she was going to play my best friend. I was nervous about. Just yeah. added myself. Yeah. Huh? Welcome back, Derek. We came yeah. to Derek and lost in Marika. Yeah. yeah. But we, just, we just clicked instantly, and the chemistry was so great, and just everyone on set was super talented. And... Um, yeah, it was great. Another challenge was not laughing whenever I was working with Terrence. <laughs> I always got uncontrollable laughter whenever I had to do a scene with them. Um, but that was a good challenge. It was fun. Yeah. Do you want to th think of uh, maybe logging out, Marika, and then logging back in, and maybe that'll correct the uh, the freezing thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
And in the Florida. meantime, Derek's, Derek's back on. Um, maybe you can uh, give a few uh, words about the movie. And uh, yeah, I think you have a clip to show us, right? I think I'm freezing too. You you're, are. Right? You're, you're pulling a marika, as they call it these days. Wait, yeah. Well, you guys can hear me though, right? So I can we just can be like you. omnipresent kind of thing? Yes. Yeah, I think we can hear you. We can hear you just okay. fine. Sweet. You, so you why don't I, uh, why don't you just, um, Lip sync me or something, guys, and then I'll. Uh, why don't I? I'm gonna play the trailer um, so that everyone. It loads up here. I got four years on my reserves. Oh, yeah? How is that? You're a natural. Yeah. Wow. Chills. I feel like I just stormed the Capitol. <laughs> I love I love seeing her. Uh, we're going to stay out of that. We're going to stay out of that. But um, I love seeing everybody here. You guys are looking awesome. I'm probably freezing a little bit. So what I did was, though, I uh, put together a little collage, a really quick collage. Of, I loved hearing about all the just, just catching up and remembering what we did. Um, that was like three years ago. It was nuts. I know. Um, seeing how much we accomplished. It was so fun just looking back. But then I think I'm kind of like, I'm never doing that again. I'm never going to the desert and like <laughs> going through all that, um, the cold and the heat and everything. So um, let me just play this collage for you guys. And of course, I, I leave it on on Joyce firing a, a rifle. <laughs> That's, uh, I think it kind of I think it kind of played it a little bit choppy from the from the streaming, but uh, man, those are good times. That was the the cold that uh, Marika was talking about too. Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, I think that's a great way to segue into hearing about memorable moments. What do you think, Joyce? Yes, I was about to say that. Sounds good. Do you want to start with yours? <laughs> I think I'm freezing right now still. So I'm going to see if I can jump back in. So just, uh, okay. I'm sure Eric Keitel can tell us uh, yes. about his memorable moments. I'm hoping he's, he'll talk about the hot tub too, because <laughs> that, that's definitely a story. He's Let's start hear with from those. Eric Keitel. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> well, I definitely don't remember. A oh, there was a specific hot tub story, I guess. Uh, I okay, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'll, I'll, I'll briefly <laughs> mention it. Yeah, there were these these guys um, that were staying in the in our same uh, in the same place, and uh, they got in the hot tub, and we started talking about you know what we were doing there. And these guys, I think they worked for um, DWP or something like that. I forget exactly, but um, um, they definitely were not from LA. I guess they started talking, and then they found out that we were doing a movie, and they said to me. Oh wow! Like, no one's ever gonna believe that we met you. <laughs> like, they probably yeah. Well, they probably don't even know who I am. <laughs> like, just because I'm in a movie does not make me a movie star. But I'm 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 glad it it, it it's fun for you. Um, 
Okay. Uh, well, there's, there's made, so many you're, stories. You're not making a movie star, but but you are a star of a movie. So I mean, that's yes, you know, you've, yeah, you've got yeah. that going. For you. Yeah. There's so many stories I could talk about. Um, well, I'll let I'll let Eric Mark talk about the um, uh, the donuts in the desert. Um, oh, well, well, there's I, the there's definitely the the dog in a box story. Um, oh, which, oh, which maybe oh, I'll, oh, well, I'll, 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 oh my gosh! Are you? I, wanna, I, I you was hoping that, that Terrence would be here for the dog. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll say you can take the donuts, and I, I should probably tell the dog in the box just because <laughs> because I'll take it to where it logically de deserves to go. Although right, much better if Terrence right. were here. So why don't you keep on going, and and we'll see if Terrence comes back. All right. Uh, so um, you guys hear me? It's, it's a lunch break. It's halfway through the day. It's a lunch break, and uh, I'm about to go get some food. But Eric, uh, Eric Mark comes up to me and says, "Hey, do you want to?" Um, He's got a, a Dodge uh, Challenger, charge, the, 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 Challenger. The, the, the Archer car. Yeah, so he's he's got a Dodge Challenger out there in the desert, and he says, "You want to go take this out to the to the flats, basically, and and uh, do some donuts." And, 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 by, and by the way, not my car, a rental car, because yeah, I would not do car. I would not do this in my car. <laughs> no, only to somebody else's property. What do you do? <laughs> uh, so we go out there and. Uh, I mean, it's it's super bumpy because of all the dune buggies and everything that uh, that go out there, um, and uh, so just getting there is just like fifteen minutes of this, and then and then we uh, end up in this flat space, and so we we take turns kind of filming each other, just going uh, you know going up as fast as we can through the flats, and then uh, and then kind of uh, doing donuts. What I forgot uh, while Eric was filming me was that. As I'm encircling him, I'm uh, uh, kicking up all this dust, uh, it, which is going right in his face. I was just having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he, he didn't have to be filmed. But uh, but oh, when I thanks. stopped, yeah. <laughs> when I stopped, I realized like I had just absolutely covered him <laughs> in sand. <laughs> I, I, so, I was like, I was like Toto in Kansas. I mean, I was just, I was covered, I'd gone through this whirlwind and I'm covered in, yeah, covered in sand. And I obviously could not be filmed even if I were being, and Eric's like, oh, uh, don't do that for me. Cause I'm, I'm, they're shooting me later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that was, that was a, that was a fun lunch break for sure. Oh my gosh. You talked yeah. about donuts. I was hoping about to hear uh, about food and delicious just, things. Sand, sand donuts. Well, fair enough. <laughs> oh, so, so, so one of the great stories that came out of the out of the desert was um, when we were doing the the live shooting in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Well, outside of Phoenix. Uh, you know, it's kind of amazing. We had all these guns, all this. Derek was very, very happy. A lot of slow mo shots of people shooting and then blowing up things with Tannerite. But um, at a certain point during the day, we spotted like a, a cardboard box sitting by a cactus. And, you know, we're all curious, inquisitive types, as, as most people are. And so we, um, you know, we got a bunch of like, you know, manly, manly men on this, this team. And so, of course, we sent uh, Marike over to investigate. And uh, <laughs> she goes over and, you know, opens, innocently opens up this, this cardboard box. And inside is a dead dog. And I mean, obviously, we're all we're, we're all a little shattered and hurt by that. And, uh, you know, every, everybody else went over sort of on dares. I didn't even go because I'm a little too sensitive to that kind of thing. So I didn't I I, I hear there was a dead dog in the box. So um, however, you know, that would have been a sad and possibly heartwarming story in and of itself. But what came next was the most interesting part. So Terrence, who is one of the sweetest men I know, um, thought that maybe maybe bringing that back to to, to LA and giving it as a, as a present to his son would be the it would be something that would just uh, would warm everyone's heart so so Terrence I don't know what you you think about but, but yeah so it was, it was, I mean as recently as a few as a few weeks ago Terrence and I were remembering the dead dog in the box I was like and, and as Terrence goes yeah a gift for my son <laughs> and uh, I guess in the end you never did that, right? But it would it was it was touching that you thought of it. Like I mean, you're out in the middle of the desert, you know, seeing seeing the circle of life, and you're thinking of your child. <laughs> you're on the big screen here. Yeah. You're what's your memorable you. moment, Terrence? You're, you're muted. muted. Can't. I can't you mute it. 
You're on mute, Terrence. <laughs> Everyone just go like this. You on mute. Oh, yeah. oh there wow. he is. Am I wow, mute? How about now? Yeah, now you're back. Woo! <laughs> Those oh, lies. Not, <laughs> we still can't, we, but we can't hear you. What we, okay, uh, I can't hear you. Oh, no, so, so, you can't hear me? Now we can still hear, can't hear you. can't hear me? Yeah, now, now we, we can. Can. can you hear me now? Yep. Yes, yeah. we can. You guys can hear me? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. So um, everything that Eric said is am I am I muted again? Everything Eric said is, and then you and then you cut out. Am I on mute again? Nope, you're not on mute. You, we, we can hear you sometimes. Ah <laughs> I see. Well, if you can hear me, everything Eric said is a lie. It's all it's all what? lies. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you for clearing that up. Am I out? You guys can't hear me. Can you? <laughs> I think you have a delay. Well, I think you have a delay. Any well, other the, memorable moment? Well, the lie, the lie is that uh, <laughs> you didn't want to take it home. You wanted to blow it up with the tenor. Oh, I'm sorry, right? that's I completely forgot the stress. Yeah, yeah that, that was the terrible. lie. Thank you, Eric. Yeah, yeah. No, Terrence wanted to blow. He wanted to, and this is this is awful. But he wanted to fill. And it, but I understand because you know it's, it's it was sort of a ceremonial thing. You wanted to fill the dog with tanner. No, I and, did not. But yeah. <laughs> look at that face. Well, you're, well, before you're, look, this, look, this is what I have to put up with, guys. I also have to say this is what I have to put up with. This is how. Got off. Gone off the rails. Hard it is to make a film. <laughs> lost, lost control of the actor. None of this is true. None of this is true. You can see. You can see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's hear a nice and memorable moment. <laughs> oh, I have one. About... Yeah. Oh, wait. Can oh, you guys... man. Or no? Yeah, we yeah let's move on okay. to Olivia. Okay. okay, good. Well, I remember at the end, um, we wrapped filming early april and celebrated at my birthday's mid-april yeah. celebrated my 21st birthday that was Ooh, really fun yeah and so we had a the, at the rap party and i think the oh my goodness i forgot our dp's name um but it was his birthday as well and so that was a, that was a memorable moment uh, marvin yeah huh? marvin yes yeah it's it's ironic that you say it was a memorable moment, right as you say you forgot his name. <laughs> no, that was not good on my part, but it was nonetheless. <laughs> it was a great moment, and I will say it was it was nice because we each got to uh, we each got to treat you to your first drink of your life. This is true. Yeah. Wow, that's yes. a big one. Cute. And then fun? I took her out to a club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went dancing. It was, oh, yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and Marika, do you have uh, your memorable moment? Oh, gosh, there's so many. I can, I just remember um, trying so hard not to laugh during Terrence's <laughs> instructional video of the fire weapons. Is he, did he leave again? Is he gone? Oh, he did. He might be. <sighs> Yeah, I was just saying, Terrence, that uh, one of my memorable moments was trying so hard not to laugh at the scene when you were doing the instructional. I don't even know what it was. There was a. Oh, man. She always leaves us hanging. <laughs> <laughs> it's so frustrating. Um, yeah. Or. Like Eric's when he got, when he said, "Let me show you how a real man fires a weapon." <laughs> Not me, Eric. Yeah. Um, but yeah, or even just when we went to shoot by the windmill, and it was so super super windy. Remember that, and the wind was like blowing our hair and our faces. Mm -hmm. um, or even just riding in uh, to set in that. Um, RV every day, every morning, early in the morning, playing cards on our way. And Eric yeah. still playing cards, even though he'd get car sick and he'd still play with me because I was bored and wanted to play on the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was just so many great, 
great memories, good times. Olivia is such a morning person, so she'd wake up first thing in the morning and go, good morning, good morning, like singing, <laughs> good morning. And I'm the type of person that needs to at least have one sip of coffee before I can speak. This is all true. This is all true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oops. She needs she needs coffee so she can speak again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so the singing yeah, was very really fun. That was really mm -hmm. nice to hear all you guys sing. Well, Carol, did you have uh, some some memories as as the the opening close? Um, did I? Well, I only shot with you guys for two days, um, so I just I just remember. I mean, one of the set was this gigantic um, uh, studio uh, for a scene that was just a pretty intimate scene with <laughs> Derek and I. <laughs> and so, and that was that that famous, infamous monologue scene, which was a dialogue, but um, I saw it as a monologue. Um, <laughs> and I was in this enormous place and I was, I, I felt a little um, intimidated. I must admit, but I think that Derek did, did that on purpose, <laughs> just to make me lose control a little bit. Did you, Derek? Of course I did. Of course yeah, I did. did. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, but I, you know, you, you're, um, well, you guys will see in Age of Revelation. Carol, Carol is amazing, um, and I remember her working with Michael Dorn and I gave her a little secret. I don't know if you remember that scene where you're kind of like arguing with him and then, and then you make a decision and it's so subtle, but it's so beautiful though at the same time. So, uh, I think I have a yeah. terrible memory. I mean, <laughs> always playing. Yeah. I mean, we just always, we're always playing games, you know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, just playing little yeah. games just to keep you, on your toes and then yeah because uh, yeah. not everyone can know the same thing i think actors they can't know the same can't know everything because then it's, it's not it's not real because yeah, you know what's yeah, going to yeah. happen you anticipate and all that stuff but yeah i mean geez sure. was it kind of like what bill murray said to scarlett johansson at, in lost in translation <laughs> i i don't know what she said <laughs> no one not, knows neither does anybody yeah no one knows that's that's the secret Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, it was that. <laughs> awesome. That's cool. It was exactly that. Derek, any uh, other memorable moments? Oh, man. It just, uh, man, that went by so fast. It's like such a flash, and it's like three years ago. But then I've been editing the film. Um, there was the people so that came on fun. set and started shooting uh, live ammo. We had to work yeah. around Oh my gosh, that was so terrifying. <laughs> I mean, there were, were a lot of terrifying teaching, moments. You, weren't they teaching their like five-year-old son how to shoot? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. And, yeah. And then there, I then there was a guy. About that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, why don't I? Why don't I just talk about like memorable moments with each person? I'll try to get most people. I remember Marika, Like she, yeah. she didn't have. Yes. Uh, she didn't have a stunt double, and. Um, and we all had uh, to one of the, we all had one to of the high behind a rock. <laughs> well, she was at the car, and she one of the uh, infected had to attack her. So it was one of the stunt mm -hmm. stunt people. You remember this, Marika? And I was actually then she say like, that. Yeah. Uh, oh right, oh sorry. Um, yeah, so she like front kicks the the stunt person who has a pad, and then Marika goes to the ground, and like. That's totally the take we used, and uh, she and she was a pro. She was just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, she totally just took it on the chin, and then just kept going. You didn't, and you didn't want to wear pads. I remember that too. I remember you didn't want to wear pads or anything. I was like, I don't need a so. stunt double. I can do all my own stunts. <laughs> no, it was helpful to have one. Very good. <laughs> uh, I remember Eric. Eric and I, we we scouted that location together. Yeah, uh, that was fun. Um, you know, of course, I'll tell the reality is just that we, you know, we it was it was it was bumpy okay. and scary out there. It was very dark. Um, so that was that was uh, that was amazing. But then when, when I got there, I was like, oh, man, this place is awesome. Like, this is like so 
vast and beautiful and there's so much stuff changing but um, I knew that was something. That was the place. So, that we so can to I, can, I, can I add to that, Derek? That that when we went out scouting this with with our friend Kevin, um, we we were driving. So first of all, we're driving on the freeway, like the ten. You know, one of the one of the biggest freeways in in, in North America. And Derek's sitting in the back seat, going, "Hey, uh, we're not in a hurry, you know." <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm going like I'm. I'm going like seventy miles an hour in a sixty-five zone. He goes, "Hey, you can slow down. You know, we uh, we've got all day." And I'm like, this is the slowest I've ever driven. And uh, <laughs> Derek's like, hey, 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 you know, you know, I mean, we don't want to get anyone hurt doing this. And so I, I, I of course, sped up. The, the, every, I said, every time you say something like that, I'm going to speed up more. And so uh, <laughs> then we get to the desert. We're taking these unmarked, and we're completely lost, by the way, because we, we, we we're looking at the, you're know, trying to find this location, unmarked dirt roads. And, um, Admittedly, as as Eric and and Derek both said, it's it is bumpy and sandy out there. We're 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 getting some air on some of these uh, on some of these bumps, and we're driving pretty quickly. And Derek's like, "Hey, hey, hey! I'm serious. We got to slow down. We got to slow down. We're you know this is dangerous." And then um, what Kevin and I didn't tell him was that we we drove right by the signs that said "No trespassing" and uh, and and you you know U.S. military base. And so, so I don't know if you knew that until now, but we, we, we even we were slightly worried that there's going to be some maneuvers going on. We're going to hit some landmines or something, but we just kept on driving. And I figured if we did it quick enough, um, you'd be you'd be mainly focused on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you you're a good driver. You're just fast. We I've uh, L.A. Uh, Eric has been a great about introducing me to LA. He's taken me everywhere. We've, we've driven many times. He, he likes to drive with the top down. I do remember one guy getting really pissed off at you on the highway. <laughs> so much so that he did a U-turn. He did a U-turn and then started chasing us. That was, that was okay. nuts. That was so scared. That is true. Uh, so he, he drives slightly fast. <laughs> Yeah, I was admit- so I was terrified. The guy was like, you, were you know, one of those like movie. It was really a movie. He was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get you, kind of thing. Um, and I'm like, I'm gonna turn around and but, confront uh, this guy. And Derek's like, no, no, just get out of here. I'm like, I think we're gonna stop and talk this. I was out. like, like, keep going, I, keep going. He was I, really I, chasing I think, you. That's LA. That's LA driving, guys. That's LA like, driving. Totally. I, I think he thinks um, I did something I didn't do, so I want to just go stop and talk it out, like, 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 gentlemen. But Derek is like, let's get out of here. So. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia, um, I, I, I remember her being the nicest person, and I think like what's interesting about her character is that, you know, she's purposely, purposely annoying, and <laughs> Olivia is so nice that you can tell how good an actress she is. I mean, I'm serious because she's like, I, you know, we've had lunch together and stuff like that, and we've we've gone out, and then she's just so fun to be around. But then, you know, the the difference in the character is just. Um, amazing, and um, I really enjoyed that. You know, uh, Olivia and Marika spent time together to become friends because I think you really see it in the film, and they became close, and they're like kind of singing buddies. They they actually sing together sometimes. I thought that was cool. And karaoke with Eric, right? <laughs> well, there's some debate um, about that, but yes, it exists. <laughs> and Carol, Carol's been in a ton of things, but I went, you know, I went to a play with her in Marina Del Rey. Venice. Play, play of hers. And I think it, we were, you know, it was like this two person show. It was amazing. And I think it was an off night. It was like a Tuesday or Wednesday. So there were very few people, but they just put on the whole show. It was just like nuts, like how good it was. It was just, and yeah, it was, it was, I was, I was like, I was blown away by that, uh, by that. And you, uh, you have to see how good she is in the, in the movie. And of course, you know, she's in all these, like, she's got her own, she had her own show in France and everything. So uh, she's, the real deal guys um thank you thank you Derek. yeah thank and eric Keitel, you too. saw a huh what? thank you for supporting theater too yes love it love it i mean and well you know and the same thing i mean eric is the uh, eric Keitel is uh also does theater in la there's not that many actors that do theater and keep working and working on their crafts i wasn't gonna say about eric but we we practiced that uh that that fight scene a lot i remember that we did a good that was that was good and he has these really hard um forearms let me tell you (laughs) (laughs) whenever we were like 
hitting hitting each other. Oh man, it was hurting. <laughs> so well, I didn't started we wearing only have, his pad. Didn't, yeah, didn't we only have one, yeah, one like, pad, right? Pair? Yeah, yeah. So we had to switch back and forth. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Eric's like, can I wear that too? And I was like, All right, yeah, because I thought it was him, but I was hurting, and he was hurting too. So that was that was good to know that I wasn't the only one. So yeah, we just had to give but it yeah, to we... whoever whoever was bruised worse at the time. Yeah, that was painful. Yeah, you have, but you have you have very hard forearms though. Let me tell you, you got some calcium <laughs> build up. There, so. um, all right, Tony. <laughs> So I'm excited to show you guys um, Agent Revelation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play the the trailer for that too. I just want to show everybody who's who's tuned in here, and thanks for everybody uh, sticking around here. And uh, let's see how to figure this thing out in a little bit. Hey, there, man. The Kenyans are an alien race that settled on Earth 500,000 years ago. They are back, Jim. The ash has great power and is used as a weapon by the aliens. And we need you to make contact with one of them. Try to find out what their purpose is now. There are a lot of things here at the base that will defy the logic the rest of the world knows. When I saw what the ash was capable of, I wanted to run. You should have. Let's go. Protecting the ones we love, the world can be stronger. You must trust yourself. Let's get this. Hurry! So I I will I will definitely in person apologize to you that I mean it's so it's a short trailer it's 1 minute so um everyone who's here is at, you know is in the film um and you know does a kick ass job um so hopefully everyone who's tuning in and uh you know especially for you guys you guys are highly prominent in the film and uh you know loved every moment of it and seeing you guys there. So, um, and quiver quiver distribution is a great company. So we're going to be on all platforms. I mean, um, and this, this company, they've released, they're releasing good titles. I think two weeks after, uh, Vigo Mortensen's, um, film is coming out from them too. So it's like, there's like our film from this guy and then Vigo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm really excited. I think uh, things are going really awesome. Uh, Michael Dorn is is kicking up a storm. He is on. He's been on Entertainment Tonight. Uh, there's been a ton of interviews that we've held back, and that those will be released in the next um, in the next week. So it's all really coming. Um, so why don't we open up to Q and A, Joyce? Yep. Maybe. Any questions from Some anyone from the here? In the audience, if you guys have any questions, you can give a little shout out in the comments. I think there was in a the meantime, in the beginning. Oh, was there? In the meantime, so uh, because I had technical difficulties, uh, you know, just want to introduce Joyce, who's my creative partner, and uh, you know, has helped me produce both movies. It's been just impossible to accomplish this whole film and both films without her. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mention, I didn't mention, so if there's, and if you guys, you're thinking about your questions, you can think about your questions, but um, yeah, I mean, there were moments where I was thinking that it's gonna be really hard to get this movie off the ground and, uh, and Joyce kept on chugging along and making it all work smoothly, so. Thank you. No, it's a lot of fun. I was gonna say, like the whole, whole, all of it's always quite interesting working with everyone. Um, so it's a, I enjoyed experience very much. And thinking back, especially when we talked about Agent One, I was thinking back, I'm like, wow, that 
seems so long ago, but it seems so vivid as well as we think about shooting the desert. I think that just whole thing, shooting the desert is so memorable. Um, but yeah, <laughs> lots of stories there. But. Um, we'll take a question. I think I see one from um, Pravi One. Uh, what are your influences? Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, let's let's bring up uh, this one here. How, you know, for Terrence. Okay. My man, Terrence. Terrence. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get into? Uh, this is from Dave Brown. How did you get into acting? Oh, is, oh. oh man. There's a delay there. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we dub them? Can we say? Hi, I'm Terrence. Uh, I don't consider myself an actor. Oh, can you guys hear me okay? I'm having some technical difficulties. You guys can yeah. hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should just yeah. keep talking even uh, if you freeze. Okay. Okay. So um, I actually started in uh, stand up comedy. Um, I started in college uh, pretty much on a dare. Shoot. So we, we, we heard we stand up comedy and college. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and uh, there was an agent that was in, at one of my shows who um, started booking me in uh, comedy clubs around town. And then I booked a, an, act, an acting job that actually flew me out to Los Angeles. And um, once I uh, took a look, I realized that this is where I needed to be. Um, got into a couple of acting classes and uh, got an agent, got a manager, and uh, pretty much just uh, started working from there. So stand-up comedy is pretty much where I got my start. And But when I got into acting class, um, it really got me uh, excited about the craft of acting. Um, I had such a misconception of what I thought it was. And so once I realized that, oh, wow, this is what it is. It's about the human condition. It's about diving into uh, a person's life that's, that's different than your own. So I just find that to be fascinating. It, it made me a more empathetic person. Um, and it's just exciting to be able to take on somebody else's circumstances and make them my own and, and create a, an acting experience um, from that. So that was pretty much my start. And uh, I love the craft of acting. And I love um, this crew. And I love this cast of actors. And I think all of us pretty much went to the same acting studio. <laughs> the Howard yeah, Fine Acting that's Studio. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we know, I, I, think, I think everyone was found through Eric. I mean, so I mean, come here to oh. came to LA many times. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm yep. blessed to have a lot of great people and, and specifically a lot of great actors in my life. So, um, so you know, you can right. throw some COVID at me. You can do, you know, do, do things like that, but doesn't take doesn't take away the magnificent cast of, cast of characters I have uh, in my life. So, thank you all for that. <laughs> I did, I, you know, I didn't mention my my favorite moment thanks for the, with Terrence. Uh, thanks for the question, I, Dave. I just want to mention about Terrence that I think. I mean, the, the John role is so pivotal and uh, it, it ended up being, it ended up being very, very pivotal. Um, but I think what the reason why he was cast, because I thought that it's behind the scenes energy that he brings to a film. Terrence is so positive that everyone just has a good time and that makes the project better. And I think that's really important. I think that's what people don't think about is that he, that, that that's really the chemistry behind the, the uh, camera is equally as important as the chemistry on camera. Oh, yeah. Terrence is impossible not to like. I dare someone to try. <laughs> even, that, even that dog we... liked him despite his intentions. <laughs> <laughs> we have some other questions here. Uh, right. Oh, someone. Let's do this one with the uh, 
Thank you. Love you, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so I can tell, you know, this one says, uh, besides the cold, were there other downsides? Oh, I guess that's a question for me. I kind of thought it was that maybe something for somebody else, but um, there were, you know, the the sky is a challenge. Um, normally it's blue skies, but we had like overcast and we had clouds and some of the clouds would, then you just don't have sunlight. So filming everybody's, I think we had to do like redo a day just because there was a whole shadow over the mountain. Man, that was like, that was really frustrating. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, and the fact that it was so far from where we were staying. I mean, it was like 30 minutes to, and then like really bumpy just riding to set. And we had that, you know, we had that RV. Oh my gosh, that <laughs> RV, man. Jeez. Yeah, yeah I was so going to talk many. about that memorable moment. <laughs> now, did, did, didn't someone crash the RV or, or, or at least man manhandle, like, Cause some damage to yeah. it. Man <laughs> yes, <laughs> now, now, Aaron, we don't we don't bring up we don't bring up those. We don't we only talk about the good here as much as possible. <laughs> Maybe Joyce can kind of like make it sound reasonable. But well, overall, overall, the RV served us well. Uh, the desert was really hot and then cold, obviously at night. So, so it was great to have the RV. That's where we kind of stayed in and uh at our team meetings and practices or singing in there and just kind of and well pretty much the only toilet as well <laughs> on site so so uh, so it was great to have it um it was really hard to drive around in it um and kind of bringing it back to base which is a hotel and then bringing it out to site every every day i think it's about 20 minute drive uh because it's pretty huge and nobody really knows how to drive it <laughs> um, yes, at the at the very end of it, luckily it was at the very end when we were returning it to the to the um, rental place. It did kind of got destroyed. Won't <laughs> <Well>, name names. <laughs> that was it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No, I no, drove it wasn't, no, no one. And it wasn't me. I, oh man, I drove it all the way from <laughs> L.A. to to Yucca and back. And geez, oh. and then at the the very last hour, and it no wasn't one, me. No it wasn't me because I was on, oh, yeah. and, and it wasn't Joy. So anyway, it's no one on the call, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, might I add? Yeah, go ahead. Might I probably, add that we did probably not says have Walter White? Huh? Okay. Oh wait, can you guys? Sorry, Mariko Mar 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 was trying was trying to finish. Yeah. What? Oh, we did not have the RV on the day that we were at the shooting range. However, and Olivia and I had to pee so bad <laughs> and there was not a bathroom in sight. So her and I had to go on a little adventure and find a little spot. So that's another challenge was being out in the elements and not having a bathroom for several, several hours. That's true. We yes. We really roughed it. Yeah. We roughed it. We, we are not diva prima donna. No one can ever oh, no. say that about us. Oh, no. <laughs> Free. But the experience uh, drew you closer, yes? It it definitely did. It was a bonding moment. <laughs> Can you stand guard? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that RV, though, I mean, it was really it was really handy and convenient. But it was it was kind of a dangerous thing in its own. Like, I mean, in the high winds, it would catch the door and slam it shut with deadly force. Like, I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah. It, it was more yeah, it was more frightening than anything that happened in the movie. It was just like this door. <laughs> You know, just like yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that happened all the time. Yeah, and really loud, by the way. It's like it was like <laughs> it was. Yeah, we were having like mini earthquakes in the RV. Wow. Yeah. I think we have another question for Derek. Yeah. Plan for Agent Three. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm writing Ooh. it. I'm in the third act, guys. So, uh, Asian Revelation went well. We we screened it for um, some people this summer, and uh, so we're we're in development. So hopefully, if if, if Revelation does well, then uh, we can we can do three. So this whole this upcoming week is gonna is gonna matter so much because mm -hmm. it'll really uh, dictate how well we do for you know getting three off the ground. So 
but yeah, I, I'm loving, I'm loving the way it's going. It's got so much in it. I've, I've written it even bigger. So like Age of Revelation was even bigger in terms of, uh, you know, scope and scale. And then the third one's going to be even bigger. There's like spaceship battles and stuff like that. So it's Whoa. nuts. Agent interaction. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to give any spoilers, by the way, but there, you know, there, not just Agent Three, but I mean, there's talk of Agent Thirty Three. So there's there's a lot there's a lot going on in Derek's mind about all of this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, they're talking a lot about nowadays. They're talking about like, um, you know, playing with the form too. I mean, there's some other creators doing, uh, you know, it may be a feature length, and then it'll be like a 20 minute offshoot origin story, and then it'll be um back to maybe two episodes so that's that i think is quite interesting too so but um yeah, yeah who i don't know we we were we just went out we just all went out to the desert and said hey let's make a film and then and suddenly we we're very fortunate to be making uh have made part two and then and a chance to make part three so not so bad well, while we talk about part three, maybe we can answer this question as well. Well, what are your influences when writing the script? Well, and you know what, for for everybody, like uh, I wrote, I wrote, I didn't meet everybody beforehand, but then, um, you know, like Carol's, Carol's role was Dr. McGregor and it was a guy. And then, you know, she had, then she's from Belgium. And uh, so, you know, I asked her to come up with a, a name that would suit. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's Jensen, but then like I had so many problems with it because some people pronounce it Jansen and then Jansen. So I was fixing in the ADR. Oh man. Geez. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Uh, that was just, yeah. And then Car and I'll never write Kara Kara. Jeez, everyone's asking me like, <laughs> is it Kara or is it Kara? I don't, because, I don't know, the, guys. Particularly because know. Supergirl came out at the same time, the, the TV series, and in that show, the lead character is is Kara or Kara, and people yeah, can't figure yeah, out how yeah. to say it in the show itself. Not that I oh, watch Supergirl. Yeah. All right, of course I watch Supergirl, but yes. <laughs> so I don't, yeah, oh, good. I don't. I don't feel so bad. Yeah. Oh there's, no, no. There's it's all like, these words that you can pronounce. So differently, and then we're fixing an ADR, and then if I forgot one, then it's like, oh, jeez. Right. Yeah, I remember um, the but... the Kara Kara thing. We we had a discussion about before filming, <laughs> but then but then everybody just went back to their default, <laughs> like whatever whatever they they felt was right. Hey, speaking yeah. of name, names, by the way, Derek, uh, Eric and I were chatting before this uh, this this reunion get together bonanza, and. Um, <laughs> And one of the questions Eric had for you, if I, if I, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, Eric, was, but um, was your name, Derek Ting, Direct Ting, part of what drove you into this profession? <laughs> of course, I was the chosen one. Come on. No. Fortun fortunately, I wanted to be an actor first, though. Fortunately, I wanted to be an actor first. Oh, by the way, I should answer this this person's question though. The influences were yeah. um I like I like I'd like zombie movies and I like vampire movies, but you know the rules all the time, you know? I'm I'm kind of getting tired of those. So, um those were those were big, you know, I think like Walking Dead is a big influence definitely because I think the relationship between my character and Eric Keitel is kind of similar in the in the Shane Rick Grimes character, and you and I, I love that about Walking Dead. I didn't, I didn't really follow after season three, but that's, that's in essence, is two people with two different perspectives, um, you know, who are friends, who are friends, and they're placed in this impossible situation. I think that's, that's amazing. And then, and I was writing this during the, um, the presidential campaign, so this was before the, you know, who was elected. So it was really my take on, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. So it was just really my take on the feelings that I was kind of um, experiencing. Um, and then, of course, Alien Conspiracy was, was I think, you know, something that's so interesting to me. Like I watch like, I don't know if you guys watch Ancient Aliens, but I like watch like every episode. So all those, all those fun facts, like where things are and uh, what things are too. But um, we didn't get 
unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to explore that, as much of that mythology in part one. I think it's really the world building that we were creating. And I think that was interesting too, because then like Olivia, who gets turned and Terrence who gets turned. Like I have I actually have like um, some some phone phone videos too that I should show where like we're like, okay, how how is this person gonna act when they're under the influence of the dust? Mm -hmm. I thought that was I have Terrence, I have one of you in, at, at the hotel doing that. I don't know if you remember that. We you know, we did that a bunch of times on my phone. But that kind of defining that, like what's that gonna be like? What's mm -hmm. gonna be like when you take over a person? Where are you gonna get shot? Like those are those are really interesting and hard. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. Yeah, do you remember that? Do you remember practicing that in uh, at the hotel? As I do. Four years ago. So. Totally. In the hotel. Yeah. 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 No, I remember. And people were clapping for Olivia on set when she did her her uh when she comes out and she has her monologue people were clapping for her do you remember that like afterwards yeah my you, screen you perform because that was hard it was really it was really difficult and then um i remember like as just in the prepping before we rolled i like got super dehydrated i'm like water i need some water <laughs> um yeah that was intense and like kind of real because I, just with, and then I'm like lying there, de you know, dead, and Marika is doing her thing and just goes for it, like when she screams. And it's like, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel really sad right now. I, like after I died when in that moment. So anyways, yeah. I love that moment with Marika. Yeah, I love that one. So good. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Right, you know what I'm talking like about. It's like a moment to shake it off. I remember there were a few scenes yeah. that just you kind of had to just shake it off for a second. And then we were back to laughing and having a great time. But you can't just snap and be immediately back to that. It takes a minute, especially after a scene like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just remembered. Remember, like, because um, you're so nice. I said, I said, after this hit me. And you're like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> You remember that? I said, it just hit me. Yeah. I, think, I, think that I was like, they, really? You want me to hit you? <laughs> yeah. And then I did, and you were like, no, harder. That wasn't, that was nothing. Harder. And I was like, okay. And then you kept pushing me so much to the point where I wanted to hit you. So <laughs> that kind of movie, huh? <laughs> hit me. <laughs> Cool. I don't think we have any more questions from the audience. Um, Derek, do you have any additional? Anyone have any other comments? Yeah. So uh, the the movie is available. Uh, it, it's available online. There's a there's a YouTube link, and it's it's only available till the 26th, and then it goes on Amazon um, transactional. So if you really want to catch it, you can catch it for free right now. If you want to support the movie, though, um, we created some new products, uh, new agent movie products. So there's a link in that in the YouTube if you want to if you want to check it out. So there's 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 more there. I'm excited about those. You have some like jackets and stuff. Um, and then and then agent agent one, which is now called Agent Intelligence, um, will also go then to Vo Vubiquity, which is on-demand cable, and it'll also be on iTunes and Google Play, and it'll it'll roll out um, till March. So, and then and uh, you know, you, Agent Revelation, you can catch, and all these fine folks will be here, be on the be in the film. So uh, you'll you know definitely check it out this Friday because it it's uh, really important to us um, that uh, it does well. So, yeah. Thanks so much, and then and we'll catch you more on these channels. Uh, there's going to be um, more events. Actually, we're going to having another get together um, Sunday to talk about Age of Revelation. So we'll bring everybody back to to hang out and chat and get some cool stuff. Hey, hey, Derek, I got a question from a private message from someone just asking if uh, if this is available in Canada and other the other territories. Yes, yes, it'll be available in Canada. Yep, yep, awesome. definitely. Since Quiver is Canadian. Some of the as like some of the best people. 
<laughs> X Lion um, X Lion Gang X Entertainment One. So yeah, there's a lot of Canadians. All right. Perfect. Love seeing you guys. Thank you, everyone. Uh, you know Thanks, everyone. If, if, you want to hang out, if you want to hang out for a little bit, I'm going to I'm gonna put a link up there, too. There's this thing I want to try called um, Spatial Chat. We can try it. It's kind of cool. Um, and if you can, you got to go. No problem, too. But I'll, I'll put the link in the on the Facebook, and we can try to connect there, too. All right. Yeah, see cool. everybody. Sounds good. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone.